Hi, this is Justine Calderwood, physical therapist at the Healing Spot Physical Therapy. Today I want to talk to you about different birth positions that mom can go through um, to have a vaginal delivery and what kind of impact that can have on mom's body after birth. So this video is for anybody that is currently pregnant, uh, preparing to have a child, um, or for any mom that's had a baby, regardless of how long ago it's been. So if you're newly postpartum or if it's been years since you had your baby, uh, this, you may get some information from this um, about your body. So I'm going to talk about different uh, positions that mom can labor in and also the mobility that the pelvis needs to go through in order to accommodate baby during a vaginal birth. Okay, so what uh, happens here in the bony structure of the pelvis is baby comes down um, and, and usually in the last trimester uh, just before birth baby has to be face down in order to have a vaginal uh, delivery so baby comes down like this okay and it's kind of facing this direction and then as um, the baby engages with the bony structures of the pelvis uh, what has to happen in mom is that the uh, pelvic inlet has to open up to accommodate baby okay so the ilia here on the side have to open up like this they they spread open the sacrum the base of the sacrum moves um, backward okay so the coccyx or the tailbone actually moves into the pelvic outlet okay so that that's what happens as baby starts descending down into the pelvic inlet then once baby engages with the pelvic inlet and starts to move to the pelvic outlet baby will start to um, face more posterior like this and be sitting right um, against the sacrum and then to deliver out this pelvic outlet has to open up so the ischium on the bottom have to open like that and then the tailbone moves out of the way so I'm going to move baby through here to show you that so looking at this pelvic outlet to allow baby to come out the ischium have to open up like this and the tailbone has to move out of the way okay so what positions can mom labor in? Okay, um, one could be on her back. Okay, that's the most common position. And so if mom's lying down here, you can imagine her head would be up this area, legs down this area, or down this way. So if mom is lying on her back when she delivers baby, <clears throat> the sacrum is anchored, okay? So that means as baby comes down, the only thing that can really move or move well are the ilium, okay? They can open up, but the, that sacrum is not allowed to move, um, I'm sorry, is not allowed to move this way to let baby in, okay? Then as baby comes out through that outlet, again, that sacrum is fixed. And so these ischium have to open up and hinge open more against gravity because that sacrum is not able to move anywhere, okay? Um, so that's one position in, in considerations. Um, another common position would be mom in left side line. So if she were lying on her left side, now again, you can see how this um, ilia, ilium is anchored down. And so this right ischium it has to move and hinge up against gravity more, okay? And so sometimes that sacroiliac joint on the left side can get stuck down, okay, after delivery. And it can make hard for baby to pass through here, okay? Um, so what are some other positions that mom can be in in order to accommodate um, baby better? One would be squatting. So, um, I mean, not, I mean, she could be kind of leaning up against the table um, just so that her pelvis is open and free to move. She could be lying back and kind of resting up against a partner that might be in a chair. But that way, her pelvis is free to move in the positions that it needs to, okay? Another great position would be on hands and knees, okay? So if you can imagine we flip mom over and she was on a table and now, again, her sacrum, um, her pelvis, her pelvic bones are free to move um, in any way that it that needs to, okay? So if mom has had an epidural, um, some of these positions like uh, being upright in um, hands and knees as well as um, squatting aren't options, okay? So if you are pregnant and you're getting ready to have a baby, um, you know, talk with your healthcare provider, your OBGYN, your midwife, and find out, you know, if these are some positions that you can try during labor. Talk to your whoever's going to be um, assisting you and also supporting you during uh, birth. So that way they know your wishes that if you do want to try some of these other positions to um, have a smoother birth and um, to be easier on your body, then talk to your providers and talk to your support system so that these um, 
you know, your wishes are known ahead of time. So you're not trying to educate people during the birth itself, okay? So what are some things that can happen afterwards? So if you're having some lingering pain uh, following childbirth, um, some very common complaints that women have because of these different positions. Um, one very common thing is lower back pain, okay? And especially SI joint pain, so sacroiliac joint. So the ilium come here, they meet up with that sacrum, okay? So again, remember that those have to be able to move during birth. But um, if they're anchored down or they get stuck, okay, then mom may have pain afterwards, okay? so. Another very common thing would be like hip pain. So you're, it's not shown here, but basically the, the <clears throat> pelvis sits like this. So the thigh bone, okay, the femur comes out from the side. So you may have some hip pain because the ilia aren't moving correctly, okay? This whole bony structure isn't moving uh, properly anymore. Might have some pubic symphysis pain. So right in front in the pubic bone, because again, this is a this is a joint here. There's not a lot of mobility there, but there is some. And so that can get strained, okay? There might be a, like a bruised feeling or pain clicking, that kind of thing. So um, these are things that a pelvic floor physical therapist can address with you and help you start to feel better. Um, so get this looked at. If you're you know having some lingering pain, uh, after uh, childbirth, then you know these are things that can be looked at and um, can be helped with over time. So if you have any questions, just leave uh, a comment below and I will get back to you. If you're local to Woodland Park, please reach out.